Oh. Oh, this driver just got airborne right next to me. That was sick. Welcome to the fall run in Rhode Island. Good morning. We are jumping right into the action. I don't know if the camera's picking it up. I got about 50 birds working in a pretty savage feed right now. I literally just launched and that developed. It's getting to late October. So fall run is definitely in full swing. I was definitely hoping for a feeding frenzy like this. So let's see what we can find in it. Whew. Sorry I'm out of breath. I literally just launched and that developed. So I'm sprinting over to it. So we'll see what's good in here. I'm starting off with an epoxy jig in hopes of a late season albi. And uh, we'll go from there. Here we go. It didn't take long, it was like three cranks. That's not like the craziest surface activity. It's this bass. This looks like bass popping on the surface. Holy mackerel. Well, good morning. <laughs> What a sight to launch into. Yeah, as I suspected, a little schooly bass. <sighs> yeah, that was like five cranks in, so these fish are not picky. Healthy schooly. Definitely healthy fish. Hey, buddy. There he is, first guy. Little guy, but healthy. Uh-oh. He's got some sea lice on him right on his top fin right there. That means he's been traveling. These fish are probably heading south. It's the beginning of the end. Stick with the epoxy for a few more casts. It's not like a savage feed. Like there's definitely a lot of bass like popping on the surface. But as far as like splashes and surface activity goes, it's nothing like super out of the ordinary, you know? This is just a big school of uh, schooly bass feeding up on bait, getting ready for their journey south, man. Be sick if uh, there's, oh, I got bait spraying. Yeah, there's fish feeding all around me right now. Oh, look at that. I'm kind of like right in the middle of it. I don't want to try a top water, but there's definitely potential for Albies to be in here. There's totally potential for that. I'm tight. This is sick. I'm seeing bait like spray out of the water from getting spooked. Oh my goodness, this is a crazy feed. I think I'm gonna switch to the old top water be a little more fun to catch them that way we'll see what happens I was gonna do some togging today but maybe not all right I think this guy might be a little bigger than the first one yeah I think this guy's got a little more weight to him maybe there'll be some bigger fish mixed in here not want to come up still haven't seen color on them that's because it's a bluefish ah <laughs> so they're in the mix as well now bring them in what the heck there he is, medium, but he is so fat. They are just gorging on all this bait right now. And that's the, the main feed over there, as you can see. 
big old little small butter ball, but yeah, his stomach is so full of bait. All right, I've seen no sign of hardtails as of yet. So I'm gonna try throwing out a bigger presentation, this nice head and spook. See if I can get, that was an awful cast. Oh my God, I just already got whacked in two seconds. And they're splashing behind, oh, oh, oh my goodness. This is savagery. That was a wild blow up. Such a little fish too. Oh my God, that was insane. There he is, tiny guy who went explosive on me. Yeah, these fish are fired up. Water's still 60 degrees, so it's not by no means frigid water right now. Oh, I got fish splashing right here. Yeah, they're just all around me right now. Oh my God. I am in the middle of a pretty epic feed. They're just popping all around me. I'm shocked I didn't hook up right there. There we go, I'm right in them. Oh. Oh, Striper just got airborne right next to me. Stripers are getting airborne right next to me. They're like breaching the water. It's insane. Oh, swing and a miss. Two swings and misses. Oh, that was sick. That was sick. This is an awesome feed right now. <sighs> Welcome to the fall run in Rhode Island. These fish are all like getting airborne. This is so awesome, dude. Let's see what we got here. This one feels a little bigger. He's towing me. I think this might be a bigger fish, dude. The fish I've all seen on the surface have been smaller. This might be a big old nasty blue fish. Freaking madness. That's a better striper, man. Take that. It's a better fish. Swing him up. Oh, sorry, wasn't too graceful. All right, we know we got some uh, slot keepers in the mix. Oh, man. Freaking fired up. There he is, not a bad one right there. Maybe, maybe a slot keeper. They are freaking fired up today. Come on, buddy. There he goes. So I got fish popping right here. Oh, swing and a miss. Oh, two swings and misses. It's third time to connect. This one looked like a, oh, he just came off. I was about to say it looked like a bluefish. Probably better he came off. Let's do a shallow cast. I think this is a blue though. 
He's really close to the kayak. I don't think he knows he's hooked yet. Now I might have an idea. This is insane. Which kind of day is gonna make your arms tired. I think it's a decent sized blue, man. God, this guy's strong. Yeah, it's a b bigger blue right there. There are some bigger fish mixed in. It's not just, I got a slot keeper striper, and this is like a bigger blue. It's not just smaller fish. Yeah, look at this thing, man. Oof, it's a scary fish where they're this fired up. Oh, my leader is probably destroyed. This guy choked it. Oh no, this is gonna be a disaster. Oh, this is gonna be terrible. I'm surprised my leader hasn't popped yet. Come here, come here, come here, come here, come here. What a nightmare. Oh, look at this thing, dude. Holy crap. All right, I'm gonna have to perform some surgery on this guy, so turn the camera off for a bit. But this is a big freaking bluefish, man. Look at the size of this thing. But he, he choked it, so I might end up keeping this fish. He, I don't know if he's gonna make it, but that's a big blue. It just feels fishy today, you know? It's like it's overcast, it's a cold October morning. And yeah, the uh, hundreds of fish going crazy in front of me definitely adds to the fishiness. But yeah, man. Love me the fall run. Some great action. I wish I brought like the big dock out. I just don't have it with me. Always forget something. Had a shot at getting some bigger fish out of here, but that was a pretty decent sized blue that hit this little small top water. So there's hope. All right, here we go. Get ready. Don't hook a seagull, don't hook a seagull. That was a silly cast. Oh, please don't make me pay for it. Oh, thank God. Oh, already getting whacked. There we go. I kind of want him to hit close to the boat so you guys can see the blow up, but it's like, the second I throw into these feeds, I get tight. Striper, striper, striper. Not bluefish, not bluefish. Oh boy, that almost ripped out of my hands. Huh. <laughs> I think this is a really spunky blue. He came to the kayak quick, so now I gotta tire him out. Yeah, it's a blue. Oh man. Seems like more bluefish than stripers today. Holy sh. It's probably for the better. All right, off my right side. Oh, yeah, that's where I wanna cast. Should be able to hook up pretty close to the kayak. Oh, that was a little guy. Seems like they're mostly smaller stripers in this feed, but they're hitting it really close to the kayak, so it's pretty cool. <laughs> Eager little fellows. All right, this bliss is pushed in really shallow. Figured I'd chase it a little longer and then, uh, I think I have my fill. After I catch a few more fish, I'll switch to black fishing. Yeah, they have the bait pushed in shallow right against this rock. Dude, the life of a bait fish must suck. You're born just to be eaten. And these bait fish have spent all morning running away from these stripers and bluefish that are just obliterating them. Now they're just pinned up against a rock getting destroyed. 
What a crappy existence. Throwing a poxy jig in here. There we go. Yeah, I was instant on the epoxy jig. I don't think this is a big fish at all. It's a striper though. Oh wow, that's a small striper. Eek. I don't like really seeing these micros in the mix because I noticed, you know, as the season starts to wrap up, you get a really big push of small fish. So I don't like seeing this, but I have caught some bigger fish today, so I'm not too, too worried, but if it was all fish of this size today, I would be a little worried. It's usually a sign that things are wrapping up, but the water's still 60, so we got plenty of time, man. Tiny. Does he have lice? Yep, he's got lice on him. These fish are traveling, man. I can't confirm, but I swear I saw something that looked like an Albi. I swear I saw a fish that kind of looked like an Albi. Tight to something. It's definitely not an Albi. Maybe I'm just seeing things. But I swear I thought I saw a little football jump. I mean, it wouldn't be unheard of. It's about the time where they usually crash these blitzes. Oh man, another micro, dude. Oh, I don't know. I think uh, I want to change gears and tog. I don't know if that'll be this video or next video. Depends how many fish I caught in this video. But uh, yeah, I think I'm kind of had my fill of this blitz. I know, buddy.